Hello, welcome to another video. And this is actually the first video of a new series that I want to do that is directed towards people who are brand new to Revit. So I'll be talking about basic knowledge that you need to know to understand the program. So in this first video, I want to talk about families. If you just start using Revit, you probably already came around the term uh, families, but probably you don't know exactly what it actually means. So the truth is in Revit, everything is a family from like every element that you use from doors to dimensions to lines and everything. It's part of the object hierarchy in Revit. And this hierarchy goes categories, family, types, instances. So let's go to Revit and check out what these terms actually mean. Now, categories are the most abstract level in Revit. You find them up here, for example, wall, roof, uh, but also all these structural elements. Each of them represents a category. Now within a category, you find all the families that are similar, that belong to a kind, so to say. For example, window. We So within the category window, we find all the different families that are windows. For example, these three here that are underlined in grey. Now within a family, we have different types. They all represent the same kind of window, but they are different in their par parameters. For the window example, they differ in dimensions. Now, if we select a type, we can create a concrete instance, which is the actual object in the project. Now let's take a look at the project browser. We find the families down here and we can trace the hierarchy as well from down here. So we uh, selected the category window and then the family and the, the casement, the double hung window. And here we have our different types as seen before. Now if we, this is the type we selected now if we go to select all instances we find the two windows that we just draw so i hope that gave you a little bit of insight on how the program is structured and um, next video will be on how to change a type and how to create a new family so stay tuned for more